The outcrop is interesting because it might tell us something about one of the largest landslides that has occurred in this region here. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. We are in a location where we find lots of lake sediments close to the surface and these lake sediments are quite important for us because they bear organic material that we can uh, use for, for establishing a chronology. As far as we get closer to the Ossetia River, um, this area is really at risk. We have just faced in 2012 a catastrophic event where 70 people were killed by in, by an event actually, by a flash flood, which might have been quite similar to what we are investigating here, uh, but much smaller. The landslide was, is supposed to have happened um, around 800 years before present, but we cannot really date uh, the landslide itself. We can only date deposits that have been accumulated in the tributaries to the stream um, where the landslide is located. The reference point from the airport, from the airport and we set up the basis system so we can measure precisely the level rather than this simple GPS. It's very precise and it's very accurate. Ja, und dann musst du ja denken, das hier soll ja 800 Jahre alt. Genau. Dann musst du ja erstmal noch 100 Meter Flusssediment drauf Genau, legen, du musst du das drauf wieder 100 und Meter einschneiden. Und das in 800 Jahren, also ich glaube gar nicht. Das ganze Ding in 800 Jahren zu schaffen, glaube ich, ist absolut unmöglich. We think it is 800 years because we can collect samples which contain organic carbon. And organic carbon can be used to as an age control um, since it contains 14C. So it's an isotope, which is radioactive. Uh, sand and uh, silt and clay, but no organic matter. It's good to work with the foreign colleagues because uh, they are advancing their knowledge uh, better than us because we have uh, some kind of uh, this technology lacking problems in our university. So uh, working with uh, the colleagues from around the world, especially I always love to work with uh, German and on that part of the uh, Europe, because if we come together to the field, we can exchange our knowledge on the spot. So it's not like uh, uh, just uh, staying in university and just talking, but we are here, so okay, we can discuss what is this, what is this, and what might be. So that's the real the, the example of collaboration to understand the basic science. Wir gucken jetzt, ob da vielleicht Blätter drin sind. Und wir hoffen und wir hoffen. Aber wir finden nichts. Nichts, nichts. Ich habe ein altes Stück Holz gefunden in einer Sedimentlage und damit kann man dann mit der Radiokarbon-Methode dieses, ähm, dieses organische Material, was hier Holz ist, das Alter davon bestimmen. Und davon hat man ungefähr hoffentlich das Alter dieser Lage, wenn das Holz nicht schon ein ganzes Stück älter ist. Aber es ist sozusagen ein Maximumalter. Die Lage kann nicht älter sein als dieses Holzstück. Ich 
street from and you just come back. <laughs> I think they are wondering what we are doing here, but I hope we can give something back. What we do is basic science. We try to understand the processes um, that have shaped this, lang uh, this, this landscape. Such information is, is very valuable because it contributes to our understanding of risk. How vulnerable and how uh, hazardous is this region actually? A lot of this material here is going to be excavated again by fluvial transports, such as, uh, such as the river of course, and so it plays a role in, um, in planning infrastructure uh, like power plants, like water power plants. And it is quite interesting for a better understanding of the geology of the Himalayas. You never think that the science can develop the country. And if there is no science, you cannot develop.